Welcome to our brief introduction to the classic film Witness for the Prosecution. Directed by Billy Wilder, this 1957 courtroom drama promises a roller coaster of emotions. Funny, shocking, and sad moments lie ahead, so keep your eyes peeled. Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? Or perhaps there's a particular scene that has left a lasting impact on you. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready for an unforgettable journey through the twists and turns of Witness for the Prosecution. Strap in and enjoy the ride. A viewer's review of Witness for the Prosecution, this courtroom drama directed and adapted for the screen by Billy Wilder from the Agatha Christie play delivers everything one would expect from the genre. The narrative sets up the story effectively, delving into the background before transitioning into the gripping courtroom scenes that dominate the film. Charles Lawton's portrayal of defense barrister, Sir Wilfred Robards, is particularly noteworthy as he skillfully embodies the character's curmudgeonly yet humorous persona. The supporting performances from Marlene Dietrich and Elsa Lanchester add depth to the story, complementing Lawton's lead. However, Tyrone Power's performance as the defendant leaves something to be desired with his miscasting and over-the-top delivery detracting from the overall experience. Despite this flaw, the movie remains a mystery with twists and turns aplenty, making it a solid choice for fans of the genre. The black and white cinematography may appeal even to those who typically shy away from such films, further solidifying its reputation as a must-watch classic. In conclusion, the film stands as a fine example of its genre, delivering an engaging courtroom drama that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats from start to finish. Witness for the Prosecution, released in 1957, features memorable behind-the-scenes anecdotes. Actor Henry Daniel concluded filming in 1963, but sadly passed away shortly after, following a scene for another movie. Director George Cukor noticed Daniel's ill appearance, which proved to be a sign of his impending heart attack. In a separate instance, Harry Kernitz, a collaborator with director Billy Wilder, expressed why he didn't work with Wilder again after their time on the film. Kernitz described Wilder as intense and demanding, causing discomfort among his collaborators. The film also boasts an actress who starred in multiple significant productions recognized by the Library of Congress. She contributed to classics like Morocco, Destroy Rides Again, Touch of Evil, and Judgment at Nuremberg, all noted for their cultural or historical importance. Witness for the Prosecution, released in 1957, stands as a significant film in cinema history. Marion Gray's final performance graced the screen in this gripping courtroom drama. Witness for the Prosecution follows a veteran pilot who flew missions during World War II, including supplying Iwo Jima and Okinawa and evacuating wounded soldiers. Marion Gray, who played a notable role in the film, had two younger brothers Tom Lawton and Francis Lawton. The film's narrative revolves around a murder trial showcasing twists and turns that keep audiences engaged until the very end. With Marion Gray's performance marking the pinnacle of her career, Witness for the Prosecution remains a timeless classic, cherished by film enthusiasts worldwide. Witness for the Prosecution is a film from 1957, directed by Billy Wilder. The main actor had a long career in theater, starting in 1916 on the London stage and later on Broadway in 1924. He even won the Harvard Lampoon Worst Actor Award in 1939. One interesting thing about the film's making was how they kept the ending a secret. The main actors didn't know how it would end until the last day of shooting when the last 10 pages of the script were revealed. This surprise element added to the suspense and mystery of the movie, keeping both the actors and the audience guessing until the very end. It shows how skilled the filmmakers and cast were to keep it a secret and give a great performance. To sum up, Witness for the Prosecution is a classic film known for its exciting plot and memorable performances. It stands out in courtroom dramas thanks to the talented cast and Billy Wilder's direction. The main actor in the movie Witness for the Prosecution, who entertained American troops in World War II and strongly opposed Nazism, received the U.S. War Department's Medal of Freedom in 1947. His actions during the war went beyond acting on screen. Notably, he played Roman Emperor Nero in The Sign of the Cross and his great uncle Claudius in I, Claudius. Meanwhile, a prominent figure in witness for the prosecution secured the 43rd spot on Entertainment Weekly's list of the greatest movie stars of all time. Her achievements went beyond this courtroom drama. She had a varied career that made a lasting impact. 
Before a witness for the prosecution, she portrayed a Roman emperor and a historical figure, showing her versatility in acting. The movie Witness for the Prosecution, released in 1957, stands as a pivotal moment in their careers. It's not just a courtroom thriller, but also showcases their talent and range on the silver screen. Their performances added depth to a narrative that kept audiences captivated. In summary, the movie not only highlights their acting skills, but also underscores their significant role in cinema. Its release in 1957 marked a memorable chapter in their careers, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. In the 1957 movie Witness for the Prosecution, actor Tyrone Power served as the inspiration for the character Ibis, the Invincible in the Captain Marvel series, as stated by cartoonist C.C. Beck. Bezel Rathbone, in his autobiography, praised actor Daniel as one of the best villains in the Sherlock Holmes films. Tyrone Power was the grandfather of Elenia Carasi and the great-grandfather of Kay Luxick. This familial connection extends to several other individuals, including Yari Carasi, Crystal Carasi, Ramana Carasi Power, Ty Don Seif, Anthony Tyrone Sales, Valentina Fox Sales, Stella Bianca Greendeer, and Tyrone Keenan Power. Witness for the Prosecution is a 1957 movie directed by Billy Wilder. Notably, one of the actors in this film, Charles Lawton, also directed another significant movie, The Night of the Hunter, which was released in 1955. Additionally, Witness for the Prosecution was added to the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress due to its cultural and historical significance. Marlene Dietrich, another prominent figure in the film, had a personal stance against working with radio programs sponsored by alcohol companies. Moreover, a cast member, William Williams, temporarily filled in for Sebastian Cabot in the sitcom Family Affair, portraying the role of Mr. Giles French's brother. Williams substituted during Cabot's absence due to illness. Witness for the prosecution continues to be recognized as a classic in the realm of cinema. In the movie Witness for the Prosecution, Lee served as chairman of the Thalians, an organization for mental health treatment at Cedars-Sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. Debbie Reynolds held the position of president alongside Lee. Their dedication to this celebrity-run organization spanned over 30 years. Lee's insights into the film industry were captured in an interview found in talking to the piano player silent film stars, writers, and directors remembered by Stuart Oderman. Regarding the role of Margot Channing in All About Eve, Lee was considered after Claudette Colbert withdrew due to a back injury. However, the part ultimately went to Betty Davis, who earned a Best Actress Oscar nomination for her portrayal. Witness for the Prosecution is a 1957 courtroom movie directed by Billy Wilder. The film features Charles Lawton, Tyrone Power, and Marlene Dietrich. Lawton, who was in World War I, plays Sir Wilfred Robarts, a smart lawyer recovering from a heart attack. He defends Leonard Vole, played by Power, accused of killing a rich widow, portrayed by Dietrich. Despite health issues, Lawton's character aims to find the truth and support his client. Lawton, a World War I private exposed to mustard gas, became agnostic after the war. He had roles in military films like Flirtation Walk in 1934 and The Long Gray Line in 1955. The trial in the movie gets more intense with surprises, keeping viewers guessing. Sir Wilfred reveals new evidence, facing off with the prosecutor, played by a strong actor. Dietrich's character adds complexity as the widow whose testimony is crucial. Off-screen, the film gained attention when Berlin bid 8 million German marks for Dietrich's estate with about 300,000 pieces. In summary, Witness for the Prosecution is a gripping courtroom drama with a suspenseful plot and great performances, a classic in the genre, showcasing the talents of its cast and crew.